the Miami Dolphins lost their third game in a row against the then-winless Indianapolis Colts on Sunday. For the fourth week in a row, Miami offense looked putrid, unable to do anything for the majority of the game until it was way out of hand and that is when Jacoby Brissett stacked his stats. Jacoby Brissett had a decent stat line, finishing the day 20-30 for 199 yards and two touchdowns. That, however, is incredibly misleading as the Dolphins' offense was basically useless for the first three quarters of the game. Brissett had a few nice throws at the beginning of the game that looked sharp and was able to extend plays with his legs. The problem was all of that began to fade as the game moved on. There were a few moments where Brissett did have an opportunity to make a play but either threw the ball low and into the ground or threw the ball to the other team who just wasn't able to get the interception. He also held on to the ball too long on various plays which is something that you can't do when you're playing behind the offensive line that the Dolphins have. Once we got to the fourth quarter, Brissett was able to finally get going, but the game was well out of hand at this point, especially considering how the Dolphins' defense fell apart as the game progressed. Overall, Brissett's play was not good enough to win a game nor keep the Dolphins in it for the majority of the day. Miami offense looks bad for the majority of the time they are on the field. There isn't one problem, but many for this coaching staff to figure out. Again, this is the fourth week in a row that the offense has looked bad. Some of that is on Brissett. It's clear that he is not a long-term solution to anyone's quarterback situation. But, if we're being fair, Brissett is not the only issue plaguing this Dolphins defense. A weak offensive line, poor play calling, and what seems to be bad game plans are slowly destroying this team. Miami will never see the playoffs if they continue to play like this on the offensive side of the ball. There's no telling that the return of Tua Tungavailoa in a few weeks is going to fix this offense, especially since there are clearly bigger issues than the Dolphins quarterback. Miami has been unable to do anything with Brissett in so it can't get much worse.